this is Tiffany from Easy Toddler Hairstyles and I don't have Nova here with me today because she's off playing. She does really great um, sitting still while I do her hair so I figure she doesn't have to sit here for these videos too. But today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about styling items and products that we use to style Nova's hair. Um, these are just a general guideline or suggestion. You'll see some of them in some of my videos and now you'll know what products I'm using. So the first thing that I would tell you to get if you're styling your toddler's hair is a water bottle. I have a bigger one and I actually have a smaller travel size one too but it is missing in action right now. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply and I will link a lot of these products down below um, in case you're interested in purchasing them but you can get spray bottles like this at um, any major retailer. I do a lot of her hairstyles wet because she has a lot of those tiny baby, um, baby hairs that tend to fly away and um, when we do it wet it tends to stay put a lot better. So first item is a spray bottle. This next item kind of goes hand in hand with the wet hair and it is the Herbal Essences Set Me Up Spray Gel. Um, this is available um, online and at Target. It's really great because it's not sticky like a hairspray and you can spray it on the hair. You don't have to rub it on your hands. I'm currently looking for um, a natural alternative to this product. Uh, because I use it almost daily. So if you know of any spray gel that you would like to suggest, feel free to suggest them. But this is what I use on a regular basis. And the next item that you'll need when you're styling your toddler's hair is a couple of combs that have the fine tooth on one side and the wide tooth on the other side. Um, if her hair is fresh out of the bathtub, I can get away with just using the thicker um, part of the comb or the wider part of the comb on her hair. Um, I also love these ultra wet and dry hair brushes which you can get at Sally's. The bristles are different lengths and so it actually goes through the hair really well. I would really suggest this hairbrush especially for a toddler where they get a lot of tangles. So that is the wet and dry ultra. So combs and a hairbrush. Uh, this next item I use a ton of and that is the uh, Proclaim Elastics. These elastics are super stretchy, they won't break hair, and they come in tons of different colors. So they come in like a neon, they come in clear, um, they come in black, and they also come in brown. They're fairly inexpensive. I'm also going to link them. You can buy them at Sally Beauty Supply if you have one near you. If not, you can get them online. I think this bag is like $1.69 or $1.79 and there's 400 elastics in here. I've also used another kind that I've gotten on Amazon and the other kind that I've used, tried, are the Amelia Beauty. So these are really similar to the Proclaim elastics except I like these because they come in primary colors. Um, the Proclaim ones only come in the neon colors, so let's see, there's pink and yellow and orange and green and purple. And in this Amelia Beauty one, you've also got red and a darker green and kind of a navy blue. So if you're looking for primary colors for elastic styles, these Amelia ones are great too. The next thing that we're going to talk about is something to separate your child's hair with. A lot of times I will do an elastic style and I'm working with the front part or I'm working with the back and I have another part of the hair that I don't want to work with right now so I will buy these clips from Sally's as well. You can also get um, metal type ones. There's a bunch of different ones but I will just use these example to clip hair out of the way so it's out of the way while I'm trying to do it. Bobby pins are also another staple. I buy these in a bronze color to match her hair and I get them in a big tub. Amazon, Sally's, Walmart, Target, you can get bobby pins any, anywhere. But I actually use these on um, styles that I want to hold that I can't use an elastic for a specific area or I also use them on dry messy buns quite a bit. Um, the next two things that I'm going to show you that are staples for toddler hairstyles are actually little tools that are going to make things super easy. These are topsy tails. They have a bottom part here that kind of comes to a point and then a top loop. Uh, when you buy the Con Air pack, it comes with two of them. I usually only use this small one on my daughter's hair because her hair is shorter and this one works great. Um, you'll notice on Amazon that you can buy cheaper topsy tails. Don't get them. I've tried a couple of different ones and they've broken the first time I've used them with both of them. So if you see some that are a dollar, don't be eluded by the fact that they're only a dollar because they'll take forever to get here because they ship from China and they also don't hold up. The plastic on the actual Conair Topsy Tails is a lot better and they will hold up a ton better. So I want to say this set is like six or seven dollars, but you'll use it a ton. It's totally worth it. 
Uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you that I would invest in is a donut bun. You can get like a three or four pack of these on Amazon as well. Um, you put it over top of a ponytail, kind of spread the hair around, and then put an elastic over that and you have a perfect um, bun for dance or ballet or just day to day. Those are the products that we use on a regular basis. I will have another video soon talking about um, where we've gotten our bows, where we like to get them, um, different accessories for the hair. But next week, we're actually going to talk toddler hair hacks. So I'm just gonna show you a few hacks and tricks while you are styling your toddler's hair to help keep it clean and cute and um, make it easier for you to do. So if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up on this video. Um, be sure to subscribe, follow our Instagram and Facebook pages and you'll find those in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you later.